do a little segment on sort of encouraging butterflies in your garden and looking after them. And that's why we're next to Budia davidii, as you can see here, some great flowers on it. It's got a nice scent and it's called the butterfly bush because it's one of the best plants of shrubs in your garden you can have for helping butterflies. But there's a key number of points you need to recognise when you're planting plants for the good of pollinators, especially butterflies. Butterflies like warmth, so you know, big nice sunny position like this cottage garden gets a lot of sun. Another thing you need to make sure you're doing is prolonging the seasonal interest, so particularly spring all the way through to autumn. Spring for when they're replenishing their supplies from winter and autumn when they're preparing for the you know the winter period. Some other, and there's another plant which I'll cut to now, which is Verbena bonarensis, which I have in my garden, but it's not in this garden. And that's another fantastic plant for butterflies. Another perennial which is great for butterflies and when it's fully in flower, it'll be absolutely covered in them, is sedum. And this is sedum autumn joy, which really does get the pollinators going. And it's quite crucial, I think, to have plants like this in your garden because like I mentioned in autumn, they're gonna be storing up for the winter. So you need to you know, plant more of them so they, they can take on that nectar. We've got this all over the garden, I think I've mentioned that, but it's just about to come into flower now. You can see these flower heads all over um, Another plant that's good for butterflies is lavender, Lavendula angustifolia. And we've got you know a great hedge for them to sort of feed on here in flower now and we're now starting to think how can we attract more throughout the season giving them plenty of nectar and one is the hebes and you can see they're about to come into flower sometimes some hebes flower um, very long periods it depends on the genus and it depends on which one you get so there's also a cherry here and that's a very good first uh, plant for um, bees it's a very good white flower and also behind us we've got the hawthorn and that's a lovely anything like hawthorn blackthorn uh, crab apple anything like pears anything which needs fruiting you get the flower and the nectar from the butterflies will be on that, the bees, everything will be on that and then you get the fruit of the labour. So then the bird's life is another concept of the same plant. So you're getting, from that hawthorn, you're getting a many amount of species throughout the season when it changes, benefiting. And not only that, it's a hedge, it's a good wildlife corridor.